He was, for me, uh, mostly a journalist, um, a columnist, actually. He had a column in Charlie Hebdo that I read uh, every week, religiously, uh, for years. Um, and in that column, um, he had, you know, he was showing, um, writing about ideas uh, that, were, that were quite different from the usual economics uh, discourse that you can read in other newspaper or that you can hear on the radio or on TV. And this was very enlightening uh, to me. And uh, in the context of a film I was um, going to make, which is called Encirclement, uh, Neoliberalism Ensnares Democracy, is the subtitle. Um, I uh, decided to film a few people, a few interviews with different people. And he was amongst those people uh, because he was yeah, one of the most interesting uh, person that I could think of to talk about economics in an alternative way. And also he was, uh, let's say, a myth buster in terms of he was, he was debunking economics uh, myths all the time. Well, the thing is, uh, for this, this film, uh, Oncle Bernard, A Counter Lesson in Economics, is, is uh, quite peculiar because there's no editing in it. And that's, um, that's a creative cho choice by itself. Uh, because what I wanted to do, well, it's, it's shot on 16 millimeter. Uh, so a 16 millimeter reel is about 11 minutes long. So you have to change all the time. And uh, what happens in the film is that the camera runs out of film, uh, but the sound uh, keeps on rolling and the screen goes black. And in between the reels, we discuss about different subjects, uh, you know, sometimes just chatting like that. And for me, because this is a like a tribute film. I wanted to pay tribute to Bernard Maris after he was killed. Um, and uh, it, it's a way in, this, in the context of that tribute to show more of his humanity. Uh, because it's like outside of the interview when you can hear him and, or even see him f for a small bit uh, when he talks with other Charlie Hebdo people. <clears throat> that were there the, during the shoot. Um, and um, yes, I mean, it's also a way to, to show the relationship that I had with him and also a way to show the context, the general context of the interview. Uh, and see, like in encirclement, uh, there's no questions. You, you never hear my questions, but they're, you know, they're all there. Everything is there, even the slates at the beginning of the shots and so on. And um, the image is very uh, sober. That's what I wanted because it's in black and white also. Uh, it's all choices that I made uh, so people would concentrate on the ideas. There's absolutely no B-roll so-called B-roll, like uh, archival footage or this kind of visual lubricant. Um, yeah. Well, I would say sober, for sure. Um, very simple. And, um, I mean, all the, uh, all the attention of the audience is directed towards the ideas. And also, I mean, he's a very funny person. Um, that's the thing with him. Uh, the interview lasts uh, about 80 minutes. And um, normally, people would get bored a lot faster than, <laughs> than that uh, with a film talking about economics. But he's very uh, um, eloquent and he's very funny. So, and, and he, uh, he has an ease to simplify complex matters in economics. So, yeah, so funny would be also a word. <laughs>